So I was uh, reviewing some of my old videos. And this video was centering around the grace that we have for females in regards to abuse. We tend to excuse it because we think to ourselves, this person has been through a rough time. So they handle people kind of roughly because that's the way that they was raised. So it's some other guy's responsibility to smooth things out. To give that female a safe space to flourish and be in her feminine self. However, the same male that goes through the same things, abuse, neglect, etc. Once he crosses that line, and he abuses a female. We tend to demonize that person for all the eternity. That person is an abuser of women. How dare he? How does he sleep at night? And the classic, I bet he won't do that to another man. My point is, no one gives this man grace. No one knows the context, but we don't care about the context. We see it black and white. He hit a female. So I'm not quite sure if the commenter agrees or disagrees. But it said it depends on the reasons why the female got beat up. And he also expresses that I guess equal rights and equal lefts. So my opinion is that we should all follow the golden rule. Don't do to somebody what you wouldn't want done to yourself. So if I'm yelling, screaming, raging, threatening to hurt somebody, I imagine if that happened to me, I would feel both unsafe and prepared to go to defend myself. Nothing about this screams out de-escalation. It only escalates matters. If my only recourse to someone making me angry is hitting me, if that happened to me, I wouldn't want to be around that person anymore. Even if I loved them, I would wish to escape them. Simply because this person isn't safe. And who knows how far they would escalate to if they're already, you know, um, ready to hit me. Maybe stab me. Probably kill me. So, I wouldn't feel safe. And notice... It doesn't matter what gender that you put in that place. Either way, you wouldn't want to be around any one of these. And this may be a controversial statement. But sometimes, when you have someone that's, you know, like, angry and they just want to go and hit on things and hit on people, sometimes having that person get knocked the hell out of it really kind of like um, brings a type of empathy to him. Like, damn, I've been doing this to people the whole time. This doesn't feel good. Why would I do this to anybody else? And wrestling, they call it a receipt. You get what you've been putting out. In life, we call that karma. Whatever you put out, it's a thing that returns to you. If you're aggressive and you've never been challenged, why would you stop being aggressive? Unless someone puts a little bit of fear up in you and know that your actions has repercussions. So, for example, the Japanese uh, end up attacking Pearl Harbor. They called America a sleeping giant. Basically saying, we're going to do anything that we want to you because you're not going to do anything about it. You guys are, are too safe. You guys are too comfortable. And we're going to go and challenge you about it. And once you get big and bad and bold and want to go and challenge somebody about it, you can't control the um, response that you're going to get. So what does America do? They create an all new atomic bomb and bomb Nagasaki and Horoshima. It ain't always that serious. You can hit somebody and get stabbed. You can hit somebody and get shot. 
But I think regardless of the female, regardless of the male, regardless of what type of personality they have, or even who the aggressor is, some element of mutually assured destruction has going to be presented. You hit me, you're going to jail. You hit me, I'll hit you back. You hit me, and I'm going to get my revenge when you're not watching. You better watch your back all day and night. Sadly, people have to know that you're one going to crash out about your safety. Otherwise, if you call yourself being good the whole time, and I'm, I'm going to go and be chivalrous, I'm going to be, you know, kind, I'm going to go and turn the other cheek. People like to want to challenge that with two more slaps. So if you're trying to go and be the bigger person, you're in the wrong room. Just like this commenter said, equal rights and equal lefts. That's the concept that makes the whole world spin. 